I door dashed myself some coffee. Ooh. I'm panting. I'm panting today. And then the top, like it's almost too beautiful. Hello, my favorite fellas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Considering my life is in shambles, we're gonna get right to the point. I need to have a good day. I need to have the best day ever. So today, I'm making it a point to do everything I like in a day. So far, so good. I had some oatmeal this morning. Didn't show you guys that, sad, but uh, today we're going to the beach because it's 75 and sunny here in San Diego on March 1st. And I'm gonna go to Coronado, which is one of the nicer beaches. It's pretty close to me. But before I did that, I door dashed myself some coffee because I don't know why I do this. This is Blue Bottle. And the thing with Blue Bottle is that I think door dashing costs basically as much as it would be to drive over to Blue Bottle because it's downtown, there's no parking. And my gas in my car is really expensive. And I have Dash Pass on DoorDash, which is a little too convenient, which like takes off a lot of the fees. Anyways, that's how I justify me spending uh, $14 basically on this coffee. But uh, it's $14 for two of them, which is like $2 more expensive than normal. And I just save one for tomorrow. It's perfect. And I don't know how I went from spending like $3.50 every day on coffee to now $7, but you know what the wise ones say? They say the more money you spend, the more money you make. And that's the motto I live by. So we just got ourselves a bold cold brew with cream. It is so good every single time. Blue Bottle honestly might be rivaling Phil's for me now. They put sugar in this. There's definitely sugar in this. I don't know why they put sugar. I wonder if they put sugar in this one too. That seems very weird. Yeah, they put sugar in this one too. Wow. I tell you guys how much I love Blue Bottle and then they messed up my order. It's not the end of the world. I'm still gonna drink them obviously, but I don't really like sweet coffee. Like, should I be extra and fight them on that? Like, do I tell DoorDash that this is not my order? But it wasn't DoorDash's fault, it was Blue Bottle. Or do I just leave it because I'm the most non-computational person ever in the whole world and I don't like making people upset and I'm a people pleaser and I have problems. <laughs> I'll just drink it and not put a strain on anyone's day and enjoy my slightly sweetened, it's not overly sweet, slightly sweetened cold brew with cream. I rescheduled all my meetings today because actually I only had one and I rescheduled it because I wanna go to the beach and I just don't wanna to have to worry about being on my computer all day because I feel like that stresses me out more and I'm just going to embrace the wonderful day that I'm about to have. First of all, we can do the OOTD of the beach. I don't really have very many beach outfits for someone who grew up going to the beach. My quads, jeez, okay, bodybuilder. We've got an airy, high-waisted swimsuit, it's like ribbed. And then the top. As you guys can probably tell, my body continues to um, change and adapt to becoming a woman. So I keep having to buy new things all the time. Anyways, I'm gonna go running right after on the Silver Strain in Coronado, which I went for a bike ride there the other day, and it was very beautiful. It was a little windy, but it was, I think, zero feet of elevation gain, and that made my life, because I don't want to feel a slight incline on my run ever. So for the run today, since I'm making my best run ever, I have to wear one of my favorite outfits ever. So I'm wearing my board shorts. <laughs> My Nike board shorts that I use as running shorts because they are running shorts and Nordstrom Rack lied to me. Then we're going in with an Outdoor Voices doing things bra. This bra is pretty supportive, so I still don't think it's supportive enough these days, but we are going to make do of it because I need to get new sports bras now. I love being a woman. And then I'm going in with this uh, white Nike tank top from East Bay from my little collab I did with them. Honestly, the cut of the shirt isn't my favorite and I feel like it does not flatter my upper body, but I guess so it's not my favorite shirt. And then we got some socks. And then I'm wearing my alpha flies again and I don't even care what you guys say. Don't judge me, don't hate on me. No one has hated on me in my last video. Um, and that's good because I can't handle hate right now. Okay. Garmin Forerunner 245 with music, the best Garmin in the world. Gooder sunglasses, use code coldbrew for 15% off. And then we got our AirPod Pros. And that's what I'm wearing running after I go to the beach. Uh, uh, can't do we do, baby. Yeah. It's kind of funny, Coronado is literally like a utopia. It's scary. Like it's so nice here that I'm like, what's wrong? I feel like because it's an island, maybe it's just a little more secluded and there's just not as much like pollution or something. I don't know. I don't listen to me. What am I even saying? No one even knows what Coronado is. I'm at the post office. I have to ship off a, po a postmark order. Um, 
a postmark, a Poshmark, a Poshmark order. And now I'm having the urge to run right now before I go to the beach. I know the rational thing is to go run and then go to the beach, but I already am in my swim clothes. What's the right decision? What would you do? John, the Quinones, where are you? You guys, what is the right move? What is the right move? Run right now, I have to change, then I run, then I go to the beach. But am I gonna wanna go to the beach after I run? Probably not. Do I wanna go to the beach now? I don't even know. Any normal person would just run and then go to the beach, but I'm not normal at all, so. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna drop this off and I'll let you know what I decide. Okay, that took five seconds and I didn't decide anything, so. Okay, well, we're just gonna go park either way and then figure it out. Park and then decide. Give me five more minutes to procrastinate this decision. Okay. We just made it to the parking spot. Um, I think I might go running. I think I'm gonna run. There, I just made the decision. Don't look back on it now. I might um, have stomach issues because of my coffee, but you know what, who cares? And then I'm gonna get changed back into my swimsuit when I get back here because I'm going to the beach. I need to go to the beach, but I have too much energy right now that I feel like I'm going to be, like I'm actually shaking. Okay, never mind. you can't even see on camera, but I feel like I'm gonna be unwell if I just like go lay on the beach right now. So need to go get some energy out and then go to the beach. Once again, I've had zero water today, so this is gonna go really well, I just know it. I'm only running 35 minutes easy. Basically what my goal is right now is just to get back into the swing of things, as I've been saying for four years. Um, <laughs> but to just like take it easy so that I'm not overexerting myself. I don't really know what my goal is, so. What I'm predicting that this run is gonna go like today, I'm predicting I'm gonna feel good, but my heart rate is gonna be so insanely high. That's what I feel like because I'm really stimulated right now. Okay, you see how this top is weird though? Because it's not flattering on me at all. So to all the hot guys that see me today, I usually look better, okay? Okay, for today's run, I'm going on the Strand in Coronado. Can you see? This is my outfit. Ooh, I can't with the shirt. Bye. Ooh, I'm panting. I'm panting today. I was right about the heart rate, but I was not right about feeling good. I don't. There I am. We're on a bridge. The Silver Strand, nature's bridge to discovery. What am I discovering? <laughs> feeling washed. My tank top is bothering me. It's kind of turning into a high neck. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Birds. Hotel Dell. I finished. I didn't feel horrid, but my heart was like, so high this time. I ran too fast too. It was also extremely hot today. Definitely ran in the heat of the day. I don't recommend running at noon. I do it every time though. Maybe I got tan with this weird tan line of the shirt. Nothing like finishing a run and then just sitting in your car immediately, right? Ooh, airflow please, airflow, airflow. Oh, my coffee. <sighs> Nothing like refueling with a little caffeine and uh, dehydration water. Okay, I need to wait to cool down for like one second before I try to take off my sports bra. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ladies, you can relate. Taking off a sports bra when you're sweaty or trying to put one on when you're like sweaty or damp. Mm -mm. And it's only gotten worse over time with me, you know what I mean? Someone just DM me. Thanks for keeping each day chaotic. Too relatable. You're welcome. You never know what you're gonna get from me on the day. It's really fun, honestly. I live a fun life of <laughs> being just chaos. Routine, who is she? Wouldn't know. I posted on my story that I door dashed the two coffees and so many people have asked me who the other coffee is for and I'm like, honey, I wish it was for another man, but it is just for my greedy self for tomorrow, so. <laughs> is it just too much to ask to share my cold brew with the man? 35 minutes, 4.24 miles, 8.16 pace. Heart rate, I'm not sharing because I'm embarrassed, it's so high. I wish I could just snap my fingers and be good at running. Okay, bye. Okay. Swimsuit's back on. It didn't take that long to get on, actually, surprisingly. Hair is quite sweaty. Car smells like sweat. I'm getting my personality back. Uh, repping it. Bring my water with me. We got my towel. 
AirPods. I'll bring my sunglasses. Whatever, I'll bring my pink ones. I think that's it. I'll bring you guys with me, okay? I do feel better now that I went for my run before going to the beach. I feel much more calm. So I need to drink my coffee so I can rewire myself so that I'm not calm anymore. It's almost too nice here. Like it's almost too beautiful and too perfect. It's making me scared. Not really, but it's so nice. I've, I've never been to this beach. Time to go home. It's like three. My phone was dying, so that's when I knew it was time to go home. And I'm hungry because all I've had is oatmeal, so. I want poke so bad, so bad. I'm not gonna go get it though because I don't wanna spend $15 when I have so much food at home. This is supposed to be my day, but we're being realistic and responsible. There's something about being barefoot and like from the beach and walking to your car barefoot that just hits different. I'm a barefoot girly and I was born to be barefoot, but I was not born for people to look at my feet because I have 10 to not 10, because I have six toenails, so. Bye, Coronados!